Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the derivation of mean and covariance of the state in a Gauss Markov process. That is, given the following state model, which is also a Gauss Markov process, s of n equal to a times s of n minus 1 plus u of n, where s of n is the current state and n minus 1, s of n minus 1 is the previous. So, here the error term u of n, which basically denotes the error in the understanding of this model or this temporal relation is assumed to follow a Gaussian distribution with mean equal to 0 and variance equal to sigma square u. And the initial state that is s of minus 1 also is assumed to be following a Gaussian distribution with mean equal to mu s and variance equal to sigma square s. So, since the states, since the initial state and the error term follow respect to Gaussian distributions and the current state is a function of the previous state is known as Gauss Markov process. Now, let us look at the derivations of the mean and covariance of this process. For that, we need to derive a closed form expression for s of n. That is, we need a expression for s of n which is a function of s of minus n and u of n. So, s of 0 is obviously given by a times the initial state s of minus 1 plus u of 0. Similarly, s of 1 is given by a times s of 0 plus u of 1. But by using the definition of s of 0 from the previous equation, we have a times a into s of minus 1 plus u of 0 plus u of 1. So, this is equal to a square s of minus 1 plus a times u of 0 plus u of 1. So, if we repeat this process, if we repeat this process up to s of n, we can see that it will be equal to a power n plus 1 into s of minus 1 plus a power n into u of 0 plus a power n minus 1 into u of 1 plus and so on up to u of n. So, this can be clearly rewritten as s of n is equal to a power n plus 1 into s of minus 1 plus a summation k equal to 0 to n a power k multiplied by u of n minus k. That is when k equal to 0, we have this term, but k equal to 1 we have the next term and so on up to k equal to 1, we have this term a power n into u of 0. So, this is the final closed form expression for s of n. So, so from this expression, we can derive the mean. So, expectation of s of n is equal to a power n plus 1 into expectation of s of minus 1 plus the sum k equal to 0 to n a power k in the expectation of u of n minus k. And this is equal to a power n plus 1. And from the initial assumptions, we know that s of minus 1 has an expectation equal to mu s. And the expectation of the error term u of n minus k is obviously equal to 0. So, this is equal to a power n plus 1 into mu s. Therefore, expectation of s of n, that is the current state, is equal to a power n plus 1 into mu s, where a is the coefficient in the state model. Now, let us look at the covariance term, covariance, which is, which can be denoted as c s of m comma n is equal to, by definition, expectation of the, of the product of the two differences that is s of m minus expectation of s of m into s of n minus expectation of s of n. So, the expectation of this product should be equal to the covariance between the s of n and s of m. Now, by using the expression for s of m and s of n and the expectation 
uh, of their respective terms, we have expectation of s of n can be replaced by a power m plus 1 into s of minus 1 plus plus the sum l equal to 0 to m a power l into u of m minus l. And of course, we have expectation of s of m which is equal to minus and since we have a minus here, we have minus a power m plus 1 multiplied by mu s. So, this is the first difference. And the second one is a power n plus 1 into s of minus 1, we basically replace m with n plus summation k equal to 0 to n a power k u of n minus k minus a power n plus 1 into mu s and this is equal to expectation of by combining the s of minus 1 with mu s we have a power m plus 1 into s of minus 1 minus its mean mu s multiplied by a power n plus 1 into s of minus 1 minus its mean mu s. So, this is the product of the first terms in the differences. Uh, this is the product of the respect to differences in the two terms in the covariance definition. So, the next term will be equal to plus the sum L equal to 0 to m a power L multiplied by the sum k equal to 0 to n a power k into expectation of u of m minus L multiplied by u of n minus k and all the other expectations which are basically the cross terms between these differences and the error terms u of m minus m minus l or n minus k u of n minus k will be equal to 0 since the error term is assumed to be independent of the state term s of n or s of n minus s of n minus 1. Therefore, we do not have any of the cross term. So, this is equal to a power m plus n plus 2 into expectation of the square of this difference which is clearly equal to the variance sigma square s. And next we have the sum or the double sum l equal to 0 to m k equal to 0 to n a power l plus k multiplied by the expectation of the product u of m minus l into u of n minus k. It is also assumed that the instances of u of m or u of n are basically independent of the other instances that is expectation of u of l multiplied by u of k is equal to sigma square u only when l is equal to k and 0 elsewhere. That is the error terms u of n or u of k are basically assumed to be independently sampled from the distribution which means that they are assumed to be uncorrelated with the other instances. So, now by using this result or by this using this definition we can see that this term is going to be non-zero only when m minus l is equal to n minus k which happens only when l is equal to m minus n plus k. In other words, we can replace the expectation u of m minus u of m minus l into u of n minus k is equal to sigma square u into delta function of l minus m minus n plus k. That is only when l is equal to this sum or this term that is m minus n plus k this has a non-zero value. So, by using this result, we can clearly see that the covariance term C s of m comma n is equal to a power m plus n plus 2 sigma square s that is the first term. And the second one is the sum L equal to note that we will replace L with m minus n plus k and how, so we will only we will be left with only a single summation, but the values of k will not start from 0 and the second term can be written as the sum k equal to n minus m up to n that is the values of k 
will not start at 0 since this value cannot be negative for especially for the cases where m is less than n. Therefore, the sum starts from n, k equal to n minus m and ends at n. So, we have a power k plus and the value of l is replaced by m minus n plus k multiplied by sigma square u. We can also write the covariance term as C s of m comma n is equal to a power m plus n plus 2 into sigma square s plus and this can be rewritten as a power m minus n into the sum k equal to n minus m to n a power 2 k multiplied by sigma square u. So, this is the final expression for the covariance between s of m and s of n. And the variance of s of n can be easily determined by using the covariance value between s of n with itself that is equal to a power 2 n plus 2 sigma square s plus when m is equal to n we can ignore this term and we have k equal to 0 to n a power 2 k multiplied by sigma square u. This is the variance of s of n. Thanks for watching.